Today, what I'm gonna show you is how I automate topical maps in literally a few minutes using ChatGPT and AI. I'm gonna show you some of my best workflows. You can use many of these for free. These are based on what's working for me. I mean, for example, this website, it went from zero clicks a day back in December, and now it's getting like 20 clicks a day. And you can see the trajectory of the website is looking really nice. And Additionally, we're ranking for a bunch of keywords, as you can see, and additionally, all this content and the whole website has been structured using topical map. So this is one of the most powerful methods to use ChatGPT, and even if you don't use ChatGPT for content creation, topical maps are where it's at. Plus, it avoids keyword cannibalization, especially when you're creating content at scale. So, let me run you through some of my favorite methods. Method number one is to basically find a competitor that's already ranking really well. And if you're wondering, okay, who's getting the most traffic in my industry, you can actually just use a free version of SEMrush so it doesn't cost you a single penny. You would type in your keyword, for example, like birds, see who's ranking, find niche relevant websites, for example, like allaboutbirds.org, and then we can plug that into SEMrush like so, and just make sure that actually getting a decent amount of traffic. So let me find that for you. So we'll take the URL like so, We'll plug that into SEMrush. We're gonna hit search now. And again, this is completely free. You do not need to pay for SEMrush to do this. Now, what you can do from here is if you go to domain overview, type in the URL right here, you can see, okay, this website is getting millions of traffic. Obviously, it's a top core authority on this particular niche. And therefore, that will be a great website to scrape for my topical map to reverse engineer what's working so that I can create content and structure a website properly too. And the clues are hiding in plain sight on your competitors websites and this is an easy way to figure out okay who's performing the best in my industry now when you're doing the semrush method ideally you want to find multiple websites in the same niche so that you have a few options of different websites you can scrape so we'll take another example like this that we found on semrush and as you can see they're also getting millions of traffic great now what we can do is find the sitemap for this website Usually that's gonna be available at sitemap.xml. So you have the main website and then you have forward slash sitemap.xml. Otherwise you can use a tool like SEO Meta and again, you would type in the site and there you can see it directs us to the sitemap for that website, great. If you want an easy free way to do this, I would actually recommend Claude. Claude AI can handle more tokens. And what we can do is just take part of our sitemap, right? So if you're, if you're doing this on ChatGPT4, you can take the whole sitemap and it can handle the token limit. If you're doing this on Claude for free, then you can just take like the first 100 lines and you'll see that if you've gone over the limit, Claude will actually tell you you've gone over the message limit before you hit enter. And then you're gonna say, organize this information into a semantically optimized topical map. This should include categorizing the URLs into main topics and subtopics based on what is already working in our niche according to our competitive site structure. We'll hit enter like so. And what it's gonna do is take the sitemap with 360 URLs like so. And there we go, we've got the sitemap with the main topics and then the pages underneath, as you can see right here. Now, see, this is scraped from an Italian website, so it's given us results in Italian, but that's basically how we do it. Now, I'm gonna show you many other ways to generate topical maps today. And my next method is using ChatGPT+. And this is one of the easiest ways to actually visualize your topical map. So what you can do is if you click on the top left over here, and then you click on plugins, and then just make sure that you're using the plugin AI Diagrams. So that's AI Diagrams, free plugin right there. We can say to ChatGPT, using AI Diagrams, provide a list of, and you just swap this out for your niche, let's say bird-related categories with 10 subtopics each, semantically relevant for SEO, very important to keep everything related, and then map them out in a hierarchical diagram. Now, all the prompts that I'm talking about today will be available in my free ChatGPT course, but basically what you can see here is it's mapping out the main categories and then 10 different subtopics underneath, right? And it's all neat and organized and tidy. Now, one of the great things about this is that you're avoiding keyword cannibalization, right? So, for example, if you were doing your traditional keyword research, Search, you might have like 10,000 keywords you got to sift through, it's very messy. ChatGPT is not going to do that accurately because it's so many tokens. And additionally, you might end up creating cannibalized keywords or you might not be able to sift through them properly. With this method, you're starting from scratch. Everything's just a bit more related, right? So for example, bird photography, you've got camera equipment, photography techniques, best times, editing bird photos, bird photography workshops, etc. Everything is related underneath that category. Now, if you're wondering, okay, but how do I set this up? Well, basically this will be your category and then you create pages underneath for each of these keywords, right? And if you're wondering, okay, what does the diagram look like? So you can see here, the topical map is mapped out. So you've got 
bird related SEO topics in the bottom and then under each branch you've got the main category so for example bird watching and then it's broken down okay types of binoculars bird identification guides best bird watching locations bird watching tours etc and everything is related to the main category and it's branched out and it's nice and easy to visualize so that you can keep everything neat and tidy kind of like an organized library that's what you want and you can see how fast and easy that was to automate. Now, the other thing about this is it just saves you so much time because if you're reorganizing a site or you're setting up a new one, it's easy to automate and it's easy to build up topical authority because you know what pages you need to create under each category. And because ChatGPT is a large language model, it's better at understanding semantics than say your average human, especially if you're hiring a VA online. And it keeps everything neat and organized. So, so far we have covered method number one, which is scraping your competitor's sitemap and then reorganizing your topical map based on that. Additionally, we've covered the ChatGPT diagrams method, as you can see here. What's next? So, going back to ChatGPT, and we'll use a free version again so that you can do this for free, you can, as promised. So, you can use this prompt right here that says, create a very actionable, semantically optimized SEO topical map for the niche. Map out all our topics, ensuring to include main categories and then relevant subcategories. This map should serve as a blueprint for content creation, organizing it in a way that aligns with SEO best practices. And I like to say I want five categories with 10 subtopics each so that it's as comprehensive as it can be. Otherwise, what ChatGPT is going to return is like a topical map with like three pages each category. Waste of time. So because ChatGPT is trained and remembers that I'm an SEO link builder, you can see that, for example, Backlink Basics has covered all the basics of backlinks. Then it's given us link building strategies as category number two with all the link building strategies. And what I would say about this as well is uh, it's kind of in order in terms of what's the most obvious, right? So you're covering the basics and then you're gradually moving away from the core topic, but you're making sure you cover the most important and most obvious topics first within each category related to our main topic. And this works for any industry and any niche. What I'm also gonna do in this video, make sure you keep watching. So I've got two other methods to show you. So next up, I'm gonna cover one of the traditional ways of doing topical maps that you might not have seen before on my channel. And what you can see right here is the, the prompts are set up in two different parts, right? So we've got part one to generate the categories, and then we've got part two to generate the topics under each category. And this is a very, very comprehensive topical map method that can generate over 900 topics if you go through it properly. So what you can do is you can take part one, we'll start a new chat here, and then inside chat GPT, we'll say, give me 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under the niche in the right language and easy to read table. Each topic must be relevant, blah, blah, blah. Reduce each to three to five length keywords, prioritize the list by semantic relevance, and include keywords in English translations, right? And so this is exactly what we did for Uccello Mondo. The website that I showed you here, they went from zero to 20 clicks a day already, and that's increasing all the time. So for example, you can put the language as Italian, and this works for English as well, you just put the language as English, and then you put your niche, for example, birds. We're going birds crazy in these videos. You can do this for any niche, and then what you can see here is you've got the Italian keyword, the English translation, and these are all categories of content that we can create. Now from here, what we can do is we can take part two of the prompts, and I'm gonna to say to ChatGPT, give me 30 variations of each topic that addresses a different search intent. Now, this is a method that I've actually learned from Matt Diggity, so I would recommend his video on topical maps on YouTube. Really powerful way to create topical maps at scale. And inside here, we can put topic equals and just grab the topic for each category. Like, for example, like this one right here, we'll hit enter. And you can see what it's given us is the main category, the page, and the translation of the page name, right? So for example, for this category right here, exotic birds, it covers tropical birds, exotic birds, biology, singing birds, exotic hybrids, etc. And everything you can imagine when it comes to pages related. To. And again, you can use this inside ChatGPT 3.5, so it's completely free and easy to do. And then the final method that I want to show you is actually using my custom GPT topical map maker. Now this one, you do need ChatGPT Plus, it's only $20. If you can't afford $20 for ChatGPT+, I would highly recommend doing some client work and actually selling topical maps until you can afford to pay for ChatGPT. Topical maps are so powerful that people will pay good money for them because as you can see, you're creating a website that ranks and starts getting traction very, very quickly. I mean, to go from zero to 20 clicks in less than 60 days, pretty good, especially for a brand new domain. So inside the topical map maker, 
what you can do is click the conversation starter, tell me your niche and language, and I'll create 30 relevant topics, right? And then you just say birds, Italian, whatever your language niche is, and then it's gonna start generating that right here. And it numbers each category, and again, it just kind of automates what we were doing before, so you don't need to copy and paste and mess around with everything, and ChatGPT can do all the thinking for you. Now what you can do is you can say, give me the pages for one of the categories, and then it'll give you 30 variations of the topic, as you can see right here. So it's basically giving you the keyword variation, the search intent, the question, and the information type. And there you go. And then you can just run that for each category inside your topical map, nice and simple. Now, if you're using ChatGPT+, Plus, what you can even do is you can type in app right here, select, for example, my SEO blog outline content creator tool, and then take one of the keyword variations that you wanna create content for, and say, create an SEO outline for my article on whatever page you wanna generate, right? And then from there, you've not just automated the topical map research, but you've also automated the SEO outline, and after that, you can get this tool to actually create the content for you. And it's even done it in the language that we wanted it to. Pretty powerful there. So for example, if you say, now generate the content, and it will just go off and start creating the content. So thanks so much for watching. That is basically how to generate topical maps in five different methods. Some of them free, some of them using ChatGPT+, Plus, but either way you can generate free topical maps and automate them using the processes that we've talked about today. I've shown you a case study of how it works, plus some of the keywords that we're ranking for using this method. And one of the other things that I would say is that if you create a topical map like this, then each page can rank for multiple keywords. So for example, if you take this URL, you can see that we're ranking for multiple keywords on the same page, which means that you don't need to spend money generating multiple pages. You can rank for multiple keywords with one page and that saves you money messing around with keyword cannibalization. So if you wanna get access to this free SAP with five different methods for generating free topical maps, I will include that inside my free course. Link in the comments in the description. And if you scroll down to the topical map section right here, I've added a lesson that's called five ways to generate topical maps, including my free custom GPT and the SAPs right here. And again, link to the free chat GPT SEO course is inside the comments in the description. If you don't wanna do this yourself, you can also get topical titans to create a topical map for you. And if you wanna get a free SEO strategy session that basically teaches you how to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO by ranking based on the techniques that are working for us and our hundreds of clients, feel free to book that in. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions that you have, you'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, and you'll discover how to increase and dramatically improve your SEO traffic. Feel free to book that in, link in the comments in the description again. Thanks for watching, appreciate it, bye-bye.